everybody, hey, it's Lisa here with Lisa Press Creations, and I have a flip through for you um, for this beautiful journal. I did not put a journal plate on this one. I thought I would leave it off, but it's a lot of peaches, pinks, and here's some beautiful, beautiful um, um, lace I got. This lace I got from Timu, so it's not new, but it's it's beautiful. I'm loving it. And then this is another Timu lace I got. And this is, I used a Reader's Digest, condensed Reader's Digest. I gutted it out and put it in my own pages and stuff in that. And anyway, this, this beautiful journal has 138 pages. And I have not put a tie on this, which I'm probably going to before it sells because I, you know, usually I do that. Um, three signatures, like I said, it measures five and a half five and a half by seven and a half and I'm calling this um, butterflies and blooms because that's definitely what's in here is butterflies and blooms so anyway let's go ahead and open it up and I'll show you what's going on all right look at this here's the first page and this was actually the page that was from this original um, Reader's Digest was this was the, the cover page that was on it and I kind of made it into a pocket and this is like a little pocket here, and this pocket here, and I think, yep, mm -hmm. and this is a tiny, teeny pocket, and I'm probably going to put a tag in there, I totally forgot, I'm probably going to, let me see if I got anything, actually, let's see if anything matches, yeah, you know, like, something like that, or whatever, you cut this down a little bit, let's see if I can fit that in that little, oh. yeah, see, see, something like that, so, okay, like, that's going to go there, so, put that there and then um this is the page i made these little um cluster kind of things and i put like a safety pin on there a rusty safety pin and a button and just kind of a kind of decorated it i thought it was pretty some lace on the side and then i took this out of a book and i made it into a journaling card and this is also a, a faux postcard actually it is actually a postcard timu timu you guys i got a bunch of these from timu for cheap 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 so you know, I'm not endorsing Timu, but I'm just trying to say, guys, that it's really fun. Got a, I got a lot of really fun stuff through Timu. All right. Now, this is, this comes out, completely out. And this is a card I made. And it opens all the way up, you know, like if you wanted to write in it. And just kind of fold it. And I put that lady on there because I thought she kind of matched the theme. So I'm going to just put that back in this little spot here. Because it comes out. Hang on, hang on. Okay, that goes in there. And then it opens up. And then I it has um, double pockets here and here. And I just put a tag in there for that. This was part of the book, The Reader's Digest. And put a sticker on there. Different papers. Um, here's an old check that I got from way back whenever. And some tags. I made some little tags to put in here and this little check kind of like folds over okay, let's see here. what am i doing okay so this check i put some paper behind it and kind of made that and then put a sticker here and here's like some patterned uh music paper and there's the other side of that tag and here's some my lacy paper with lace on the edge here is poem pages like i usually put poem pages in my journals from different people because I could collect poem books, old poem books. I got that. And let's put a pretty edge on that. There's some more things here. Here's a book page with some lace on the bottom. Here is a ledger paper from another, I think it's um, English, I mean it's uh, Italian, I think. I'm not, I'm not sure, but it's from somewhere. In French, I think French. Um, and then here's a pocket with a little booklet. It's, yeah, it's kind of, I used some of that crinkly paper, tissue paper almost, and made a little booklet out of it. And here's a um, tuck spot here and tuck spot here. So it's kind of different. That would be pretty. Lots of empty spaces lots of places for writing which I wanted um, this paper as I get the other side of that 
check. Is it? Yep. Yep. See, there's that the other side of that check. And I put the I put that there. Um, and then put this there. Here is a lacy page with some of these uh, lacy kind of things. I got this from Timu also. It's a shine. And that just goes in there. And this says Faith. And that just goes in there. Okay, and this got a, an old, old lace on the edge of there. That was pretty. Here is a page. It opens up. And here's from one of my opera books. And did I put anything? No, I did not. Oh, it, it's actually a belly band all the way through. So you can put things here and things here. And I did not. Oh, oh wait. <laughs> I forget that. It's been a while since I've done this, you guys. So I'm like, oh, wait, what? So yeah, this is a, a, a journal card I put in. I love the colors. It went with it really well. And it just slides right in here. That's what I did. <laughs> it's just like. It's like coming out and I'm like, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, it just opens up for writing um, for that. And then I took a, a page out of a, a calendar, I don't know, a book or something. And I took my page and I kind of flipped them up and made it kind of in a pocket with the flipped up pages and used my butterfly. Butterflies I got at Dollar Tree, you guys, these are awesome because they're, they're clear, you know, so you can put them over a book page and, you know, you see the writing through it. So it's like, I love that part. And then here's a, a beautiful girl smelling flowers. And I thought, oh, that's so fun. I just got to put that fun there. Look at that. And this background paper is really pretty. I like it. Got this at Dollar Tree. It's just a, it's just a sticker on there. I didn't really know what to do. You know, you guys, I, I was thinking about, do I put a pocket? What do I do? I don't know. I couldn't think of what to do with this, so I kind of left it. Left, you guys can just decide, I guess, what you want. <laughs> Here is a page from Disciplines of Beautiful Woman. It is a title page. Put that on there. I thought it was interesting. 1977. Here's a corner tuck with a cute, a really pretty rose in there. You can write on that. Some little side papers. And I put some of these, like, um, these Christian little scriptures and things in here. I thought the flowers matched it. It's it's uh, very like encouraging, encouraging little thoughts and things. Here is the palm page. Flips out. Here's a little uh, bit of it. I love the colors in this. This is just so pretty and I just kind of put that on there and then this is like a little booklet about gardening and about um, the mountain tea berry. I guess it says. And it just gives you information. And here's another information about some flowers and plants. It goes in there. Here is a poem. Here is a um, journal page. Like the days of the week. You're right in there. Center of the second signature, I believe. I don't remember. I'm not keeping track of it. Sorry, guys. All right. Here is another one of those little booklets. And it's a western, oh, this is the western tea berry. And then this, I thought, thought this was cute with a little butterfly here. And this little card, drawing card on that um, green. I love that green. That's my favorite color, a little green. Here is another poem page. I have a poem book I got about happiness, other sides of happiness. And a Bible scripture page for those that are encouragement. Tea dye paper. And here's a corner tuck. And text button, and I put a journaling card in there. And I glued this on this flower, I thought it was pretty. Here is uh, another one of those butterflies I was telling you. See how it, it goes on there? And how you can still see the words through it. So I love that part of it. Here's a safety pin with a really pretty charm. It's like a really beautiful little flower charm. And a tag. And I mean, a yeah, I guess these are both tags. Yeah, these are, these are both tags. Right on the back of those. I'm going to put some lace here for that. This um, is a writing space that I left. So you can write on that. And then I put a tag behind it. Alrighty. This is from a file folder. It's like a file folder that I folded over and I I just kept, kept still kept the uh, file there. I guess it, it would have been just like a, a single file page and I folded it. Um, another one of those butterflies, like I'm loving. 
another one of these little booklets. They're like a little tissue paper booklet. And a tag. Tag. It says plant. And a journaling card. Some of these are not inked, so I will be inking these. These when this goes out for sale, because this is going to be listed in my Etsy shop. So if you or anybody is interested in this journal, it will be listed there for you to order if you would like. Here is a, a I used just used paper and I made a little tuck spot out of the old book pages. Made this little tag. It slides in there. I love butterflies, you guys. They're so pretty. And then this is just a flower I got out of a flower pack, cut it out, and made a little, just a little envelope with some more little flowers and some little things that you can decorate with if you want in this journal. Extra little things. That's what I should do is just make an empty journal sometime and just have you guys fill it in yourself. I know it'd be really fun. TI paper. There was a geometry page. And John, I can't say it. Um, one of these pages, geometry. Here is a PoFo postcard. Timu, a big stack of these from Timu. Let me show you guys what those are from Timu. It looks like this. I got two of these, so this looks like this. And this is what they are. All these little postcards in here that you could take out. I just, I love every single one of them. You know, it's like so pretty. It was only like $2 for these. And you guys, it's a Timu. It's called Postcard Booklet, double side, 32 pieces. So, and it, but you know what? I've, I've been on here before where people have said, oh, I, um, I got these on Timu. And then I try to find them, can't find them. <laughs> so I don't know how, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. I don't even know how to categorize it so you can even find it. So. Anyway, I got that there. Did this page on a book page, a uh, botanical book page, uh, book. Some poem pages. Um, this I used um, an old book page and then fabric. And then I added a, a little um, rusty safety pin with a charm and a little tag. I thought that would look cute on that little page. And then on the, the back is it's just, I wrapped that, um, fabric around and made a little tag to put on that side. Just a little detail. Here's a, a beautiful page I got for writing. For your precious moments. Um, there's the ledger paper. I like this page. It was really pretty. Uh, I took and I just uh, cut some of the my lace and put it on the side here. And this is a library card and and also a library card and a pocket, library pocket. And then this is another little journal card I put behind it because it matched the colors really good. And, and I put it on a back, the back of this is a old dictionary page. So yeah, I collect dictionary pages, books too. And then this is a fussy cutted flower page with a journal card. I'm gonna probably fix that up and point ink it before it goes out for sale. And then this is just a, a this is just a paper from my paper pad, but I thought it was kind of cool to do some writing. Let's see the side of it. And I just I just thought the colors went really well, so I just kind of put those in there for that reason. And some, um, stickers. They're like a they're like a raised stickers. Here is a side pocket with a little card here, journal card, I mean a tag, <sighs> get that mixed up. Okay. You turn this over and then I made a bunch of these little pocket things that I actually um, made. So anyway, it, this opens up and I put like a little envelope here, I did not put nothing in there, I put a secret note in there, whatever, and I just kind of made these little page over the pocket things, you know, I don't know. And this opens up. And then this this opens up again, and then I put some some paper in here, some of that tissue kind of paper in there for writing, so you can have a little mini writing journal there. And this just folds down. 
And this was actually the whole piece, and I just kind of flipped it, put it on the side of the page. So, okay, guys. So that I'm gonna do a. Um, I like to do a tutorial on making these. This would be really fun too. So I just gotta get my get my ducks in a row and get going with this stuff. All right, ledger paper. Mm -hmm. More writing spaces. Mm -hmm. Some poem pages and some papers. Um, this is the set of the geometry tree paper with a tag. I did not put nothing on it, but put some string on it. And this came out of a book. I put that on there. Lily of the Valley. And here's a page that I just added some book pages to kind of give a detail. Here is a side tuck with a blank tag and another one of these really cool little writing spaces. And that fits in there with the tag. And oh, I, I used a lot of these I didn't even talk about. I use a lot of these ink things. These are actually stickers that look like a, you know, one of those wax seal. And then a butterfly here and this lady. She kind of matched the colors. I thought it looked nice. Mm, and this is one of those, uh, I bought a bunch of these. I showed this in my other video. And I bought a bunch of these and I cut them down and made little, um, Pockets out of these pockets and stuff. And this opens up, and I don't remember if I put no, I did not. You could put things in there. I did not um, put anything in there, but I didn't I didn't make these, I bought these at the Goodwill. I think it was a goodwill, yeah. And then this is a tag that I put some paper for the topper on it. I thought that was kind of an interesting way of making that tag and that just fits behind here. Here's part of the original um, pages from the this Reader's Digest. And then this, um, I put a little doily thing here and these, this in the center of here is, isn't actually a button. It looks like a button but they're like little tiny crocheted buttons. I thought, oh, those are cute. <laughs> Put that on there. Easy. It's really easy to glue it on too because it's just you know fabric. Or it's a like a doily. All right. And I put some of these. Those postcards back there. It's the last page. And that's the back of the book. So anyway, what do you guys think? All right. This this little journal is going to be for sale in my Etsy shop. Um, and it's called Butterflies and Blooms. One hundred and 38 pages and it is available now in my Etsy shop so if you are interested go to my Etsy my Etsy shop is Lisa Press Studios at gmail.com and you can see it there and it's also listed under Lisa Press Studios if you find it there and it's also um, going to be listed below so okay I'm going to say bye for now and I will see you guys in the next video okay bye